Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, and I mean everybody because I, I expected only familiar faces. And I'm really glad I see at least quite a few, a few that I, well, don't know yet. Uh, we're at, uh, you should probably know where, where we're at, but it's a, a Python conference uh, in Navi Sad, Python Serbia conference. And uh, if you don't know what's the data or what town you're in, so uh, I just wrote some uh, info. And uh, there's, a, there's a thing that we're asked the most of all questions. Uh, is it called Pyset or Crowbar? Yeah, yeah, that's what, why it's there. It's um, if you don't like it, don't tell anyone else but me. It's my idea, so um, I kind of have these weird ideas when naming conventions are, are in place. So let's start with um, something that sounds like a, like a bunch of questions and uh, the meaning was the first, right? I, it's a crowbar. Uh, is there anyone not speaking Serbian or whatever Balkan language we use? Uh, okay, I'll translate this for you. So, izgovara se pajser namerno. What I just said is it's pronounced crowbar intentionally. Uh, why intentionally? Uh, there are a few people of, uh, that know me here and know how I started my IT uh, career, and it was as a system administrator. And if you give a system administrator anything to program, first, better be Python. Second, better not be important, because we don't know how to do that. After a few years of learning Python, uh, I'm a Python programmer now, but that's why it all started as a crowbar. We really don't know how to use it, and we smack it until it starts working. Uh, second thing is who we are and why should we be the ones that organize this conference. We are a hackerspace from Navi Sad. And if you look through the window, you can see the building where the, the, the tilde is, the, the tallest one. Uh, so we are near, we are, uh, I don't know anyone in tilde that doesn't know Python, and we are very, very interested in the language. Uh, we have lectures and all that stuff. And the uh, most important question is, why are we doing this? I mean. We could go f uh, for a beer instead of listening to, to this stuff, but we really want Python to be more popular in Serbia, at least, because here we are. And uh, the, the problem currently is that there's not many people using Python. I mean, look at us. I it's uh, compared to some other languages, which uh, names I won't pronounce, we, we are not that popular. So our effort here is to get all the snakes under the rocks uh, into the open and see who's doing it, who's hiring uh, Python programmers, developers, uh, and so on. So that's the, the wow. The, the, can you tell I'm a metal singer by the elbow? <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> we are the first Python conference in Serbia that I know, but we are willing to take this back if we didn't got it right. Uh, I did a research and there, there was almost no Python action going on in our country, so, so we are proud to be first and uh, proud not to be not the only one, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit later, and uh, a lot of people asked us why the hell do we have business on an on a IT conference. For once, they are doing it. I mean, th they are eligible to talk about Python because they work on it. Second thing, I really want us to be able to, to 
to recognize companies that work with Python so that we can, I don't know, send our CVs there or, or something. Because when we started uh, uh, organizing conference, it was, oh my god, nobody's doing this except Tilda. And then we searched, and there are a lot of people. You, you saw the... the uh, <coughs> uh, you saw the... the Billboard. So there, there are uh, companies that, that work with Python and that, that are Python oriented. So we're really glad we, we well, those snakes got on, under the rock too. And uh, <coughs> one of the more important uh, things is uh, what's going on where. Uh, the presentation or the, the saloon is where, where we are now. And there are Two more uh, rooms. They are both on the second floor. Don't get confused. You you go two floors, then you're on a first, then you go to a third. Uh, it's uh, it's a bit confusing, but we have um, when you see the the staff or what do you have volunteer right staff also. Okay, when you see the staff, ask wh where is what. Uh, one of the <coughs> Workshop, uh, th yeah, boats are on a second floor, and uh, you get the elevator and the stairs because there's a lot of us. I suppose the elevators will be busy. And for the conference, we got a lot of help. Um, obviously, we, we have organizers, so I'm going to skip the second part. Uh, but the volunteers are... I don't know about you, but whenever I go to a conference, volunteers are the craziest entities there. Absolutely crazy topics. You can talk to them. And uh, besides where's the toilet or the, the room or something, you can ask them anything about Python and more. Uh, so I strongly recommend that at least the, the company people start talking to, to volunteers. They're really, really crazy. So start start with him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, everything you need is either ground floor or, or the second. If you're on any other floor, you're lost. So I don't know, scream. <sighs> so the most important stuff, lunch, right. We will have uh, uh, two breaks. One is for the lunch which is in the whatever the big room is called. And the second one is a coffee break, so we kind of wake up after lunch. Uh, and then we are going to really, really slowly say goodbye. Uh, that means that you don't have to run out, but we have up until 7, and we will finish at 5, so we can either mingle or talk about topics, whatever. So <clears throat> I personally hate it when a conference is finished and that's it. That, that's kind of, you get all this enthusiasm here in the room, and then we go home. That, that's kind of crappy. So what we want to do is uh, do something after the conference that will make sense. First thing is um, we're going to have a mailing list that's going to be about Python-based uh, events, either that we teach or somebody else teach or, for example, uh, Python in other country, uh, Python conferences in other countries are pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to announce What's out there in the uh, in the Python world that we can get to it? Probably, if you're, if we say, "Hey, there's something cool in New Zealand." Yeah, right. So, what we want to try here is to connect people that work on Python and tell them if there's something interesting, or give them ability to to announce their Python event to a broader audience. Uh, we already started Python workshops in, in Tilda, and uh, I think we had 
five of them by now. Uh, but what we want to do is attract more people uh, to do Python for whatever reasons. Uh, we will have a crazy reasons like uh, there's a artist that uses Python. You're gonna hear him in the business room later on. But uh, we really want. If I say we want non-technical people, that's not entirely true. But uh, technical people, we we all are technical, right? But when uh, somebody that is not technical shows up. They have crazy ideas, so that's one of the more interesting stuff uh, for me. And we try to attract non-technical people for our workshops. Of course, if you're technical, well, we don't hate you. We just really, really want others to do it too. And uh, thanks to uh, Gordon here, I know that Python 2 is going to end its life, or at least the, the foundation is going to stop supporting it in uh, 2020. So we got well, a year and a half, maybe a bit more. So we are strongly advocating, please use Python 3, because you're going to have a ton of problems switching later. And in the other hand, there's a reason why Python 3 exists. It has cool features, so please stop using them. Uh, start using them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, li like we use it a lot right now. Anyway, <coughs> uh, this conference brought to you by why I say three plus organizers is because there are three people who are who have responsibility and much more that don't. Why? Because well, I'm shooting my pants here, and uh, I don't want anyone else to, to go through that. And so we, with all the hassle that, that goes along, there are only three people that are really, really responsible. Uh, I don't know if I'm one of them, but I should be. The second one is this big uh, camera here uh, called Maya. And the third guy is on the, on the tickets. The small one. Uh, why I said three plus, we got abnormal amount of help. I already mentioned volunteers, but there's um, a video operation center run by, by yours truly, right, Marco, and a network operation center run by somebody who's not here. Uh, <laughs> probably the highest person on the conference. Uh, and the most here. I, I don't even compare to him. So what I wanted to say is that this three plus means that we got a lot of friends asking, how can I help you? You know, these people work with Python. You know, this company uh, and stuff like that. And although the, the responsibility is on three of us, I think there are at least seven people I can remember from the top of my head that actually organized the, this event. Probably, probably 10. Yeah, I remember a few more. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'm not going to take much more time. I'm just going to give you the most important information on the conference. And welcome you again, and thank you for coming. Enjoy. <laughs>